When you come across a cartoon you haven't heard much about, there's a pretty good chance you'll keep scrolling and never try giving it a watch. That's understandable because it's not what you're familiar with, but doing so takes away from a show you might actually love. And with that, I welcome you to Apple and Onion, the best cartoon you aren't even watching. Unless of course you are watching, but uh, looking through a ton of comments on my videos and generally throughout social media, a lot of people either don't know the show exists or they don't want to watch. Let's talk about why that's mistake and why everyone should at the very least give it a chance. Okay, Apple and Onion is a Cartoon Eric series about these two awesome guys who move in together at a city apartment and have wacky adventures around town. As you'll notice with just a few clips, this is a strange world filled with food items talking, walking around, and acting like people. It's been done before in the world of animation, but it does help in adding to the atmosphere. Even though buddy comedies are overused in pretty much all of media, it's the little things that make each individual one stand out from the rest, and boy does this show have a lot of those. You can make a song out of anything. Look at Bugala, just joined in. This is a little car alarm song. We just made it. Ha <laughs> Finally gotcha! Thanks to your singing powers, Apple and Onion, I caught Hogan, the deadly sandwich. Apple and Onion isn't a cartoon with much of a general story arc or anything major like that, which is something that may turn a lot of people away. Today's modern standards generally say that story-driven cartoons good, Monster of the Week ones bad. But that's not always the best line of thinking at all. Sometimes you gotta just sit back, relax from all the ultra lore stuff, and watch conscious food go through crazy situations. But what exactly makes this series so special, and why am I recommending it to anyone who just wants to laugh? Number one is that the show is funny. Really funny. It's hard to know what I'm talking about without watching a full episode, but jokes fly on screen like lightning one after another. Now, if I had to relate the sense of humor to anything, I'd say it's sort of like classic web cartoons from the mid to late 2000s. They had their own unique style and sense of humor that feels pretty similar to Apple and Onion. The characters here will point out things that make no sense within the world of the cartoon, they'll sing about stuff and generally be super aware of everything happening around them. It's not really random equals funny kind of stuff, but instead legitimate jokes that kind Constantly deliver. All right, my favorite thing about being friends with you is our dynamic. What does that mean? Well, I take care of all things practical while you take care of all things comical. That's our dynamic. Aside from Apple and Onion being just a really funny show, we have to take into account the wholesomeness. Episode storylines usually get out of hand, but by the very end, the characters put others before themselves, always making sure that everyone's happy in the end. It's less corny and more just genuinely wholesome stories that make you smile when the 11 minutes are over. If I had to go over a brief example, the episode tips shows Apple and Onion working as waiters at a pizza place. Their goal is to get enough money for a hot air balloon ride. Over the course of the episode, we find out that the manager of the place has always wanted to ride a hot air balloon himself, but he just never got the chance. At the end, Apple and Onion decide to use all the money they've gotten over the course of the episode and make sure that Pizza gets the ride he's been after for a while. Wow, I love you guys! Thank you so much! Hey, I've never seen you so happy. This is real nice. Wholesomeness level 1000 out of 10. It's the kind of heart you don't expect for a fast paced comedy like this one, and I think that helps in creating something unique. At the end of the day, Apple and Onion is one of the best examples of don't judge a book by its cover. When you look at this world without much thought, it seems like one of those super weird cartoons where the characters scream and everything happens too fast to understand. It's easy to dismiss this as another one of those cartoons, but all I recommend is watching the very first episode and seeing what you personally think of it. You should be able to find it on cartoons to Narc's website or on demand, and if you have some free time, then there's really no reason not to watch. Take it from someone who's watched every single episode so far, this is Cartoon Arc's best modern show that isn't story driven. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below well, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.